After one full day in the sun, they are perfect. We're up here on our upper deck, and this is a great spot to place the dehydrator. We've tilted it at an angle, so it gets more direct rays of the sun. And plus, as the chamber heats up, the heat will rise and go out of these upper vents, which we put a screen across. We've got our metal base in. Ooh, that's already hot to the touch. I'm gonna turn on the fans. We have our food grade screens ready to go in. And we're ready to dehydrate. We'll use a couple of eight foot two by fours, a couple of eight foot one by sixes, and a scrap sheet of plywood for the bottom. The glass comes from an old picture frame, and we have some scrap corrugated metal to help the chamber heat up, and a roll of food grade stainless steel mesh. We're going to start by milling down the two by fours to make a frame for the glass top. It was great to repurpose this nice piece of glass. All the dehydrator dimensions will now be built around this piece. After cutting the 2x4s in half lengthwise, I was going to use my router to make a 1 8 inch indentation for the glass to fit in. However, I saw this done with a table saw on YouTube and decided to give it a try. After a small amount of trial and error, including trimming the edge with a razor knife, the result was perfect. Out with the chop saw to miter the corners and we're ready to assemble the glass frame. Using a square to get those corners just right and glue and screws to keep it secure. The remaining 2x4 scraps are further milled down to make trim pieces for the window frame. Once cut to size, the trim pieces are caulked and nailed into place to provide a rainproof, watertight seal on the outside. Back to the chop saw to cut the frame pieces. A bit of sanding on the edges and they are ready. We measure twice to mark the base on the scrap plywood. The pieces are cut and it's time to assemble. The side walls are glued and screwed directly into the edges of the plywood base at the bottom. The scrap corrugated metal will attach to the bottom of the frame with some trim pieces around the edges to support the food trays. The food tray frames were also milled from the remaining 2x4 scrap pieces. Two of these were assembled, again using glue and screws. The stainless steel mesh was then easily cut using tin snips to fit the frames. We have the box all assembled with galvanized hinges, a row of vent holes across the back, a convenient handle on the front, and stays to hold the top open. The two food trays fit nicely inside the frame. Nora put a coat of heat-proof black paint on the metal pieces, and I tested out the solar fans, which worked great. We are really excited about this addition to the project. The saber saw is handy for cutting a couple of holes in the base for the fans. We painted the inside base with the heat proof paint, mounted the fans over the holes with air directed up into the dehydrator, and stapled a couple of vinyl bug screens over the fan intakes to protect our food and medicine inside the dehydrator. And a composting thermometer completes the project. Meanwhile, Nora's out in the garden harvesting for the dehydrator. Jeffrey had to build me a really big dehydrator. We'll be dehydrating for food, for medicine, for teas or infusions, both internal medicine and external medicine. Our solar dehydrator is amazing. And you can hear them crispy, but beautifully green. Thank you for watching. And if you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel. And we also have our GoFundMe site if you'd like to help. Thank you.